We have been reporting on the United States' commitment of an additional $146 million in humanitarian assistance to refugees in Kenya and Somalia. Kenya had previously threatened to close its Dada refugee camp, but it's now agreed to keep the camp open while the situation in Somalia remains insecure. For more details, here's our Washington correspondent, Daniel Branches. So, $146 million in additional U.S. commitments during Kerry's trip. It includes a contribution of $59 million directly to the office of the UN High Commissioner for Refugees to protect and assist refugees in Kenya and support voluntary refugee returns into Somalia. There will also be $87 million in food and non-food support for refugees and drought victims in both countries, bringing the total U.S. commitment to these nations to almost $265 million this year. It will help improve conditions across Somalia in hard-to-reach areas like south-central Somalia and will be implemented using a number of humanitarian organizations providing shelter, clean water, hygiene, health, nutrition and livelihood programs for returnees, which is also part of a longer-term project to try to improve conditions on the ground, both security and humanitarian in Somalia. The U.S. State Department says it also wants to ensure that any returns that take place from Kenya are truly voluntary, safe and dignified, consistent with international law and within the framework of the tripartite agreement with the UNHCR, Kenya and Somalia. Kenya is committed to keeping the Dadaab camp open until the security situation in Somalia is resolved. In addition, Kenya has agreed to support, or even some reports say, co-chair a meeting with President Obama to help refugees worldwide during the UN General Assembly next month, designed to elicit more funding, garner political support and urge new hosting nations to come forward to deal with emergencies. Kenya is also being encouraged to increase work and edu educational opportunities for those Somalis who aren't able to return to their home country. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.